Never Stop Learning Week 323. We're going to take a quick look at how to export and import your settings in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so this is going to be great if you have multiple computers and you want to have the same workspace on each machine. Let me show you what I mean. Over here on the top right, I'm going to click on this drop down menu. And right in here, we have the default workspaces. All right, so I'm going to go with Essentials. And this is pretty much what Illustrator looks like when you first launch it, except for you probably won't have a flip-flop here. All right, so let me tuck this guy away. What I want to do is set up this workspace to have the panels that I normally use. All right, so I'm going to bring out my appearance panel. All right, bring this guy out. Do the same with the layers panel. Extend that. I'm going to tuck the layers panel right under the appearance panel and then bring them both to the right side. All right, in the window menu, I'm going to scroll through to find Align. And when I click on that, it's going to bring up the Align panel, the Transform panel, and the Pathfinder panel. I'll bring these guys over here to the right. And this looks pretty good. All right, so these are the basic panels that I'm used to working with. So I want to save this off as a workspace. Over here in the top right, I'm going to click on the drop down menu, choose New Workspace, and I'm going to call this Basics. All right, click OK. And now I have a new workspace, but I'd like to bring this workspace over to a different machine. All I have to do is export my settings. To do that, all you have to do is come over here to the top in the edit menu. Scroll down to find my settings and then choose export settings. Clicking on that once is going to bring up this window. Now this is where you could choose where you want to save your settings. It's going to save it as a single file and I'm going to name it basics. All right, click on save. All right, settings were exported successfully. I'll click OK, and now I can bring them over to a different machine whenever I'm ready. Now, let me show you how to import your settings. Over here at the top in the Edit menu, scroll down, find My Settings, and then choose Import Settings. All right, when you click on that, Illustrator is going to let you know that importing settings will replace the existing settings. To apply the settings, Illustrator will be restarted. All right, I'm going to click OK. Now I have to find these settings. All right, I have this folder here called My Settings. Now I could go with Basics, but you already know what that one looks like. All right, so I'm going to switch over to Production Work. All right, I'll click on Open. Now it says that the settings were imported successfully. Illustrator will have to restart to apply these settings. All right, I'll click OK. Then Illustrator shuts down. Then it's going to restart, and you don't have to do anything. Illustrator takes care of everything on its own. All right, now that Illustrator is ready, I'm going to open up the same document just so I could have a blank document open. And back over here in the top right for the workspaces. Notice in the list, we have a new workspace. It's called Production Work. All right, I'm going to click on that once. And that's going to bring up the Production Work workspace. And basically, it's just a set of panels that I saved earlier. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at how to export and import your settings in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.